Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of February the 8th to February the 15th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for sharing my videos with your friends and family members, and for all the new people coming in requesting readings. Welcome to my circle. For all my clients that are returning for readings with me, I hold space for you in the circle of friendship. We start today, my friend, on Monday with the Six of Air. Air cards have to do with uh, communicating with others that perhaps have to do with uh, the legal system or the justice and injustice in our lives. This is telling me that some of you have been dealing with a situation like that in your lives, but you need to know that they're telling me things are looking up for you and that you are now coming to the end of a difficult situation that you've had to be, be dealing with. Um, this also tells me that some of you are going to take a trip and this trip will be over water and perhaps in a large boat. On Tuesday, eight of water. As you know, water is my favorite, uh, my favorite card in the deck uh, because it has to do with relationships and often they can be intimate and romantic. This is telling me that some of you are in a relationship right now and you, it's become sort of stagnant and stale and it's not serving you anymore or bringing you any purpose or happiness. They're telling me that you do have in your heart the desire to move on and to search for something more meaningful in your life. When this happens and you decide to do this, my friend, you're going to feel like it's been a spiritual and emotional growth for you. On Wednesday, crowning your week, you have been given an Earth card. This is the page of Earth. This talks about financial matters for some of you. Good news in that, uh, in that field. Uh, with that subject, there is going to be good news coming into some of you about finances. It tells me that some of you in your job are wanting to do something more challenging, more interesting, um, different than what you've been doing. You're, you're finding that you're getting a little bit bored with this situation. Like the, like the card on Tuesday was referring to your relationship getting bored, you're getting bored in your job. It talks about um, a new, a new uh, area of study some of you are going to be uh, looking into because you want to move on or you're wanting to enhance the profession you're in. On Thursday, you've been given an air card, and this particular air card is the Seven of Air. It's telling me that if you've been dealing with issues to do with justice around you and injustice around you, communicating with people with legal issues, that you need to revise your plans right now because there's more going on behind the scenes than meets the eye. This has been a theme all week with most people in general. There seems to be this theme going on with uh, with justice and injustice and legal things going on. So please, please, please cross your T's and dot your I's and do your detective work. Find out what's going on behind the scenes before you go forward with these plans because if you don't, it's not going to work out. They refer to it as poor timing. On Friday, you've been given a fire card. This is the ace of fire. It talks about news coming into some of you. This news, they refer to it as exciting news. And they talk about it again in your career uh, as an advancement in your career. So um, when this uh, exciting event and opportunity comes into you, it's going to change your life right now. On Saturday, again, back to back, fire card, five of fire. This is telling me that some of you are going to be facing around the end of the week a bit of a conflict with others. Please pick your battles wisely. This has to do with competing goals, okay? So whoever you're rubbing um, shoulders with at your place of work, know that this person has a little bit of envy there and there's a bit of competition going on. They refer to it as bothersome details. On Sunday, the end of the week, my friend, eight of air. Uh, you know what? This is an awful lot like the ego card in the major. I don't care for this eight of air either. This has to do with... Um, an illusion of feeling like you're trapped. But remember the air cards have to do with justice and injustice. So this has been a theme all week for you. Um, it's an illusion of feeling trapped. You're not really trapped and you're lacking self-confidence because of it. You're afraid to take action and move forward with something that you're dealing with right now in that department. So please, please, please know that you are allowing this to happen to yourself 
we you're responsible for this feeling and these emotions within yourself they refer to it as an illusion okay it doesn't exist you don't have to be afraid to take action and move forward and keep your head up and uh, defend what's yours and stand your ground at the end of this reading I did uh, incorporate that one Oracle card to tie it in and I chose the ascended masters and uh, the guide sent you this this is about your health. This is about drinking more water. This is about nutrition. This is about keeping yourself healthy physically. Um, so please take, uh, take uh, uh, notice of that. Perhaps some of you have been dealing with some minor uh, health issues and know that the body needs to be uh, cleansed. And this is almost like a detox card basically because water will pass that out of your system. So this is a cautionary card for those out there that are dealing with some minor health issues that you can help yourself just by drinking more water. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to Aquarius. I leave you again with another quote and the quote that I chose today is, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. See you again next week and know that I stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.